Hi, this is Fordy from iCrack Tool. Um, today I'm going to show you how to set up an SSH connection between two iPods or two iPhones or one iPod and one iPhone. So, right here I have an iPod Touch 4th generation, this one, and an iPod Touch 2nd generation, this one. And they both have to be jailbroken. So, you get Cydia. And you have to download. Um, to apps from Cydia. So open Cydia and go to search and type in open SSH. That's the one you need. I already installed it, but if you didn't, there should be an install button right up there. So click that one and install it. You may have to respring but afterwards you have open SSH. So for the second one you have to go to sources and add a source. It's called Burza. And that's what it looks like. B O E R S E R E P O dot net when you added that source go back to search and type in terminal and then choose the one from Burza it's this one so when you install that you should get this icon on your home screen and for SS, open SSH you should get if you have SB settings you should get a toggle for SB settings too so you have to turn that on of course so that you can connect so then open terminal and it's like the same as terminal for Mac computers so when you want to access this iPod, you type in ssh root at and then the IP address of this iPod. You can find that IP address with SB settings, it's right there. Or you can go to settings. and then go there and there you see it says IP address and right next to it the address so when you hit enter or return it asks you for a password the password is always Alpine and yeah so right now let's try the the process thing, so type in top for showing up all the processes and then go to the next page and then do the same thing again, so ssh root at the IP address and then hit enter Alpine. There you go. So now let's try. You see all the processes. So, for example, let's try whatever, any game. So, you see, it shows up here. It's do lofo. So, just remember the, the code, the process ID it says 4243 so go to the other page and type in kill 4243 it's a little bit slow this iPad so it works obviously so for example respring also works
just takes a little bit more time because this iPod is not that fast and so that's basically everything I can show you I also can show you if you want to see that that works so you can see the directories so but you could also do that the other way around go to terminal right in here type in root no ssh root at And then I can do the same thing with that iPod. So, yeah, looking up all the directories. So everything works, like on the computer. So that's it basically everything I wanted to show you so have fun with that and subscribe and comment if you want and that's it see you